Hello, this is Sasha from Network Network.com and right over here at the Qualcomm press conference uh, during the Computex in Taipei. And what we have over here is finally, I mean, we told you guys already a couple of times before, the Qualcomm EPC, Snapdragon platform, in a kind of EPC 1008 HA seashell design, but the difference is this. Look at this. This is like super thin, it's fanless, no thermal issues at all. It's like super cool from the back and uh, or from the bottom. As you can see, it has a sealed battery in there. I'm pretty sure they're using a lithium ion polymer uh, battery because of the shape. They needed to make it very, very thin. Let's have a quick look around the uh, system itself. We have a Kensington key lock over here. There should be an Ethernet connector behind this, USB 2.0, on um, the jacks for the audio and um, your head, uh, headset. On the other side, we have another USB 2.0 and a VGA out. Um, keyboard is pretty much the same that we saw on the EPC uh, 1008HA or the 1005HA. Um, very, very decent keyboard, very decent trackpad, a single mouse button. But in general, you know, this is something that will steer up the network market, you know, from a different, uh, from a different side. So we'll see this as a very, very, I'm pretty sure by the end of the year, it's a kind of low priced EPC or netbook. Well, Qualcomm is calling it SmartBook. You know, whatever you want to call it, it looks cool. It is a new competitor on the market. Expect some eight to 10 hours of battery life while you're connected uh, with a three cell battery. And um, yeah, these devices should be on the market available by the end of the year. And I just hope that we can get our review sample as soon as possible because I'm sick and tired of reviewing the 1000 Antel Atom platform on Netbox. So this is finally something new and thank God Qualcomm entered this market with a global player like ASUS.